Hey everybody, it's April 26th. I'm Adam, and this is your Daily Dose of Today. The weekend is finally here, and that's good. I had a big week this week. Very exciting. Uh, a lot of crazy things going on. Uh, we talked a lot about feedback from various different sources. Uh, the sources you traditionally probably want to shut out, and the sources that you're really that you're usually readily to accept. And we talked about the dichotomy of those those two things, and and the feedback from both of those, and how they can be valuable and how they can be harmful. But the one thing I do want to talk about as we come to the weekend, because it's usually a time where maybe the feedback gets lower, and we kind of have time to digest what happened during the week, is. All this can cause a kind of a whole variety of emotions. Uh, might make us angry, uh, might make us upset, excited, happy, um, super enthusiastic. Um, but with all those things, look, temperance is important. So it's not, I know I speak a lot about being negative on yourself and trying to bring that up, but also, I, it's also super important to keep uh, to throttle, to temper that excitement, to stay super enthusiastic, to stay super passionate, but to temper that and to not act on that impulse, to not act on that euphoria, um, but to be able to find that calm, steady center and to be able to temper it. And it's a skill. Uh, it's not something like I think you can just flip on and say, you know what, I'm going to be more tempered. And But it's something that you have to, you have to um, consistently apply and temper down to recognize you know what, right now I'm super excited, so I'm not going to do this thing out of impulse. Or, you know, what's the ultimate one we do and usually regret, and that's out of anger or we're sad, right? We make bad diet decisions even when we're angry and sad. Well, I'm just going to eat my way out of it to make myself feel good or get that dopamine up. Well, honestly, it's the same way in your schooling. It's the same way in your career goals. You can decide just to quit because you're angry. You know, I guess that's going to release. It's a pressure. And so you're like, oh, you get some dopamine uh, release from that. But it's only for a moment because you feel like you feel like crap the next day. Same way as if you eat that package of Oreos. You feel good at the time, but then like what? Ten minutes after, you like hate yourself <laughs> for it. And it's no different. So that's why temperance is super important. So what I'd really like you to do this weekend, and maybe we'll talk about that on Saturday and Sunday, is I want you to just reflect and say this week, uh, I felt really angry or sad in these points. I want you to I want you to find your kind of your highs and lows, and I want you to examine what did I do with that. Did I make an impulse buy when I was super excited? Did I make an impulse decision when I was really upset, really angry? And find out what those triggers are, so that way in this next week you can say, you know what, I'm probably going to hit you know the same, you know. Uh, high level or low level again but this time i'm going to try and recognize it when i do and i'm going to do my best to stop it again look don't beat yourself up if you can't just recognize it and it takes consistency it takes time these are if your body's used to reacting on this and getting that dopamine trigger or that you know hormonal um uh, satisfaction in those times of stress then it's it's an it's like a drug uh, your body's going to want it, and sometimes you just can't stop yourself. But you can slowly wing yourself off of giving uh, that body that chemical dump that it wants. But you have to work at it. It's a challenge. So let's just work on documenting today and into this week and, and thinking on it and focusing on those points. And then trying to make a plan this week of avoiding those and not giving in to those at least as much this next week. It'll really help you in the long run with pursuing your goals, whatever they are. Anyway, I hope you have a great weekend, and there'll be more tomorrow. This has been your Daily Dose of Today. Mm-hmm.